Hey everyone, this is John Barton from JB Cases. So uh, we're going to do our weekly showcase for the week of August 10th here. Uh, but first, before we do that, I want to unbox a case that I just received from Jill Hawk Cases. Uh, Jill Hawk is a relatively new case maker, um, and uh, they are purchasing interiors from us. So I decided that I would order a case from them and um, and get one personalized. So I'm, uh, sometimes I'm like the shoemaker with no shoes and um, don't always make stuff for ourselves, but I do enjoy being able to uh, sometimes purchase a case from other case makers. And um, here we go, let's see what we got. All right, so first of all, got the box right here. And uh, this one has, uh, let's see how we got it. Um, long ways, all right, Pull chair over here so we can not cut the case while I'm uh, opening it. I'm going to be careful. Pull this down just a little bit more so you guys can see it. And I do have um, I do have the lovely actual case maker for JB Cases, Lulu, to supervise this action with me here. reaction of this case as a case maker right so Lulu is so first of all a little history right Jill Jill Hawk cases are made by Jill and Clyde Netsley and um, so they are a case making team like us um, except that the the difference is is they probably both make cases and um, in my business I'm just the pretty face on the wall and she's the one that actually gets the cases made so uh, without her, JB Cases, without her, JB Cases is just an idea, and with her, it's reality. So there you go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't so, do that. As far as I'm concerned, Lulu Barton is the best case maker on the planet. So far, so good. Got her open. Lots of bubble wrap. Aw, not sure what this is. Let's see. We got a little card. Somebody open this or something? Let's see. Is it a check for like a million dollars? No one has a right to sit down and feel hopeless. There is so much work to do. Dorothy Day. Got a little card, nice. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna read this card, okay? It says, John, thank you very much for your custom case order. This case is 100% hand stitched of butter bench tan from the uh, Walpierre Tannery, except for the back of the shoulder pad, which is a small piece of Horween essay tanned in Chicago. The simple design is meant to represent the interconnectedness and balance of your family. Aw, we hope that this case exceeds your expectations and fits comfortably into your collection. We are very proud to think of this on display at ICCS, Clyde and Jill. This is, uh, ICCS is the International Q Collector Show, so I had told them that I'm going to take this case to that show and show it off along with some of my other uh, collectible cases. And um, so this is a very, very, very nice touch, nice handwritten note here. Should we do that, honey? Should we do handwritten notes? Only you. Go ahead. <laughs> So uh, this is a wonderful touch. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Jill and Clyde, for this. And uh, I will treasure I will treasure the card by itself, you know, so I haven't even gotten into the case yet. Now, uh, what else did they have, business cards? So there were some business cards in there. So uh, let's look at their card. That's pretty. Ooh, very nice. 
very nice. So we'll show you the business card. Jill Hawk two cases. And the uh, back of the card is really pretty. We've had some pretty cards like this too, remember? Mm -hmm. So, uh, nice. Here we go. I love this. So I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but they use our interior. So this is going to have our interior inside. So I'm curious to see how that's been implemented. Checking out the wrapping, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so what else we have? A nice canvas bag, right? So it's plastic, and then there's a nice canvas bag in here. Let's see. Okay, we bubble wrap the top. Good. Honey. This is all our bag. This is all our bag. <laughs> hey, recycle, man. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. We undress it so we have a nice, nice uh, kind of a, what is that, like a canvas or something on there kind of feel? Nice bag. Yeah. Nice bag, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. See what we got. So we have a we have a strap here. So let me do this. Let me put the strap on real quick. Okay, let's see what we got going on. We have um, wow, beautiful. I love the way they did the pockets on here. So the pockets are uh, wrap around zippers. So one thing they said to me is they said they wanted to see uh, get my. They wanted to get my comparison as far as the wraparound zippers, like how they do it uh, compared to how we do it. Mm -hmm. So here's the case. Let me show you guys the case real quick. Yes, that's a Celtic knot design. So they did a really nice design here. So there's the, it's a Celtic knot design, but I like the way that it comes it comes through here, and then it comes through perfectly to the other side, kind of like how we do it. Very impressed by that. And then uh, the pocket here also has a really cool Celtic design coming out. I like the way it has lengthens out right here and frames the whole pocket. I think that was very well executed. What do you think? Nice, right? And then here on this side, they did the same Celtic knot in the corners. And then um, I had asked for something to commemorate the family, right? So we have John and Lulu, Katrina and Jesse, Barton. Check it out. And that's all hand stitched. Isn't that cool? I really like the execution on there. And then on the back, on the back here, we have a continuation of the Celtic, the same Celtic knot design, but then it interlocks into boxes, and, and uh, that's really, really interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think I told them I like blue, so they did the blue stitching on here. So I didn't really give them hardly any direction on this other than the initials on the front, and uh, I think I might have said blue. But uh, golly, look at this! All right, so let's check out the uh, let's check out the wraparound design for the corners, okay? So, firstly, on here we have double zippers, double zipper pulls like we do it. So that's good because in case one breaks, you got the other one, right? All right, so we open this up, and we have. 
So this is cool. We got a, it opens all the way up in here. Um, now the pockets are not lined like we line them, but uh, pretty sturdy. And then we have a little uh, jump cue holder in here. This is, uh, does that feel like suede, mm -hmm. maybe? Yeah, it's like a suede or a velour in here. And that's all hand stitched. So that's a little jump cue sleeve in there. It's not padded like we padded, but, uh, but it feels pretty good. And then I like the way that they did it, where they, they kind of just did it on the side right there. So it kind of goes in, and then whatever would be here would still be protected. So that's a pretty cool design, right? And then uh, down here, on the bottom, I think if I had to give them some advice, I'd say maybe close that off right there. So the jump cue doesn't like stick into the zipper part. You know what I mean? But that's, we'll talk about that later. So yeah, it's pretty nice in here, you know. Uh, and let's look at this pocket. I think they did a pretty good job on the way they the way they stitch this around there works. More cards, okay, good deal. So yeah, that works the way they did it right there. Um, so we got a nice little chalk holder right here. It's a, a or whatever, it's a little bit similar to what we do in there, but I think it looks really cool. Good idea, and, and it's uh, the way it's set up is you can kind of reach in there and grab it. So that works. Pocket's nice and easy to use. And I like what they did on the corners here, like this. See right here? Mm -hmm. So instead of coming around like to make it a full square, mm -hmm. let me show you guys. So on the corner of the pockets right here, you'll notice that it it, uh, it kind of cuts off and goes like, kind of like there's something missing right there, but it's not. It's intentional. And uh, I think it really lends, it really kind of yeah, goes with the design. With the Right? Yeah. Then of course we have our bottom on here. But notice there's no nails. They hand sewn all this. Oh yeah, look at that. How they attach the two. That's a good question. It might be glued. Just glued what? or something there? See nails? They sew it. This is not our Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. So they hand sewed the bottom to the bottom, <laughs> the rubber piece to the bottom here, and then this is all sewn all the way through. So this is sewn in the old school way right. all the way through. So that's, if we show. That's their stitching. That's their spread. That's their stitching? You can see our spread. They stitched it up to the spread there. Oh, so they went over and stitched it? Again? Yes. yes. Wow, that's a lot of work. <laughs> that's a yeah. lot of extra work. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of extra work there to, to, to attach the bottom. Um, I'm impressed. And um, so the, the, the hand stitching on the bottom is kind of like this. So if you guys look here on this one, See how this is this is actually stitched you have to go through here at a 45 degree angle to stitch all the way around to make it come out like this and that's what they did there I, I believe right so it's pretty darn impressive man I am uh, I am super impressed by this Especially with everything on here being hand stitched, that's a lot of work. The hardware is great. The uh, the handle, the handle is super comfy. I like that handle. You like that handle? Yeah, because it takes work. Yeah. Because you gotta hand sew all that. And it's uh it's super comfy this way as well. Now let's see how this feels. Okay, that feels good. Except the only thing that I'm gonna say that I don't like is this. Yeah. I don't like the fact that it slips off. So I would go with a rougher suede or something on there like that so that it, uh, it, it's non-slip. But that'll work. And then I think the other thing is is that it's not, it's not really adjustable here. So it looks, like it's, it looks like it's got a second adjustment, yeah. kind of like a, a Witten maybe. 
it can only be adjusted this way. So yeah, that's that's one thing I'm not I'm not real. Uh, I would say that I personally would say that needs to be improved because first of all, it's really slippy. See what it does there? Slippy, slippy. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying though. You know, it's like uh, it's like if you grab, you know. No, I'm comparing it because that's what I do. So I would say that uh, one thing I would say that that would be necessary would be a way to uh, to change it so that it's non-slip, right? So that you're not doesn't slip off as easy. See there. This one's got no chance. If I, if I stick this in, let me, let me get this in as far as my neck as I can get it in there. Okay, see how easy it comes off? So that's, that's the only thing, guys, that I would say right there I would change a little bit is uh, maybe, maybe find a suede, a nice suede like this. Find a nice suede or something like that that you can put on there that'll keep it from, from slipping off. And then maybe make it, uh, maybe make it fully adjustable. Um, Otherwise, man, this case is, uh, that is tight. That's a really nice case. I'm so proud of it. I like all this stitching. Stitching looks great, doesn't it? The lid, the little part here is really nice. Like yeah, it's very clean, very nice. I love that. I like the way the top rises here. It, it has just kind of a little kind of a yeah, rounded uh, edge. Edges, yeah. yeah, no, that's really clean. Let's open the lid. You ready? Okay, there we go. Look at that. There you go. Yeah, perfect interior. So is it Velcro? Okay, let's put it in and get it going. So the interior goes in and out very well, just like ours. You guys see that? What is it, just hanging out there? Let's get it seated to the bottom here. Yep, perfect. Perfect implementation. So, uh, yeah, I am uh, extremely impressed with this case. Look here, honey. Signed inside, very pretty. Very, very cool. Well, yeah. All right, well, there you go, guys. Jill Hawk, Q cases. I would say that uh, I am, uh, as a case maker, I'm obviously pleased that it has our interior because I feel like my cues are protected. But the exterior here is extremely well done, extremely tight. Um, there's a lot of a lot of handwork in here, and um, yeah, just a very beautiful, beautifully done piece. This is an heirloom case right here. That's what I would call it. Right? I like the little pull. You like the way they did the zipper, zipper coming pull. through? Yeah. Look at the zipper pull. So this is pretty cool. This is like a little hand braid, a two-strand braid right there that they kind of braided through for the zipper pulls. That's really cool. It came out looking really nice. That's actually a good little touch right there. You know, it'd be uh, it's easier than the way we do it I, I and nicer. Would, I would say maybe a little bit wider or something because yeah, wider right here. Maybe a little longer because you, you kind of when you yeah. grab it, it kind of yeah. kind of wants to slip out. Yeah, it would be easier. Yeah. But otherwise, man, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very impressive, guys. Very impressive. So, uh, are you are you okay with that purchase, honey, for me? Yes. Is that my Christmas birthday gift, ish? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> So there you go, guys. Jill Hawk Q cases. Uh, if you want to um, 
if you want to talk to them, I think they've got currently a year or year and a half waiting list. Um, so you might want to get on their list. And uh, there you go. So pretty nice case. I will be uh, I will be happy to carry it. You and Mike. Huh? <laughs> Can we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop so. pushing me. Oh yeah, she just said 16 weeks. Stop pushing me. So, so I want to make a, make something clear. I was I was fortunate to get in on the list here with with them um, before they started kind of blowing up even more. Otherwise, I would have been I would have been like a year and a half behind too. Um, so you know, hopefully this video will uh, will make their list even longer, right? Because uh, obviously, in my opinion, right now, if you own a Jill Hawk case or you you get one. You're getting a, uh, a really nice, well done pool cue case that is a work of art. And um, if they've got a two year waiting list, then I would get on that list if I were you. And in the meantime, you can purchase a JB case with about three months of a waiting list and um, three to four months. And we're happy to build you a great case and, and uh, you can keep it or use it or sell it whenever you finally get your Jill Hawk. And um, either way, you're going to be super happy. So there you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and quit this video, and then I'll start another one for the actual weekly showcase. All right, so Jill Hawk cases. Here you go. You can find them on Facebook. Just look on Facebook, type in Jill Hawk cases, and you will find them. All right, Clyde and Jill, thank you very much. This is a treasure, and I'm, I'm so happy to have it. Thank you.